Hi friends, stop being one dimensional. You know what I mean. You are a multi-dimensional being having a human experience. Don't forget that. Don't let your identification with a job, religious affiliation, a particular role, your food choice, your hobby choice, your interest choice, whatever. Don't let any of that distract you from the truth, the reality that you are an expansive, all-encompassing, multidimensional being, multi-layered being with many aspects of yourself. You, my friend, are deep. <laughs> So you're a raw foodie, or a Buddhist, or a psychologist, or a doctor, or an athlete, whatever. Insert identification of choice here, role of choice here. Mother, daughter, sister, brother, father, wife, husband, spouse, partner, etc. So you're that. Well, you're also a lot of other things with other interests, passions, talents, creative gifts, multi-layered, multi-dimensional. How can you grow, expand, and explore different parts of yourself? How can you uncover aspects of yourself that you may have abandoned, suppressed, or repressed as a result of modern day adult living. Do some inner child work, take some time, journal, reflect, introspect, contemplate. What were you into when you were a kid? What were you into when you felt good? What were you into when you had more time, when you had free time, when you weren't worried about money, when you weren't worried about your sick kid or spouse or parent? What were you interested in when you had more space to be more fully yourself if you did have such a time? If you never had such a time, right now just think about what would you like to do if maybe you had more time? What would you like to explore? What interests you? What excites you? What spark within you is burning but, but can't really shine to its fullest capacity because you don't have time or the resources? Or, or you have certain beliefs about what you should be doing, how you should be expressing yourself, how you should be using your time, how you have too many things going on to nurture and explore this part of yourself, this spark, this flame, this attraction. What parts of yourself are still there longing for your attention, buried beneath layers of busyness, and condition patterns of living, thinking, and behaving. The day-to-day. -day. The same words coming out of your mouth like they did yesterday, like they did 10 years ago. The same thoughts spinning through your head that were there 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when you were a child, when you are 4 years old. What's there? What's buried beneath that? What's true and real and just desiring expression, desiring your attention, your notice. See, I've got Lily excited back there. <laughs> What's there? Only you can answer that. I can't answer that for you. I've answered it for myself and it's brought new layers of richness and enjoyment and pleasure and feeling like I'm more authentically expressing a greater range of who I am rather than just being like I said at the beginning just a raw foodie or just a Buddhist or just someone who likes this type of music or just a daughter 
or just a friend or any of these things or just a chef just someone who's into food just someone who's into meditation or yoga it's like no girl I've got a lot going on we all have a lot going on we have so much in here y'all like infinitely deeply connected to everything that is oh it's so cool it's so amazing so really now is the time what are you waiting for now is the time to explore and express now is the time to look within and ask those questions that i asked what would i like to do if i had more time what would i like to explore what aspects of myself are yearning for expression those are really awesome questions. I hope you ask them. Let me know in the comments what you start to uncover. Maybe you're really into dance. I danced as a kid and uh, this is actually okay coming from experience here. So maybe you're really into dancing and you haven't been dancing as much as you'd like to. Maybe that's something you'd like to explore more. Maybe go to an ecstatic dance or a bar class or something like that. Maybe you're really into plants and gardening, but you haven't done any of that. Maybe go out and buy yourself some herbs. Have a little herb garden. Have one herb. I have a basil plant. <laughs> I started with just a basil plant, and that's done so much. Now I have sprouts, now I have some tomatoes, some peppers, some other things going on. Other herbs going on. But yeah, so... You know, all those interests, all those passions, all those dimensions and layers of our being, we don't have to be just, just what my profession is. I am a robot. You know, that is all, right? We're multidimensional. We're more interesting to that. Or I'm just a raw foodie and I'm obsessed with fruit and that's like all I think about, talk about and etc. Like, no, like we're more than that, y'all. We're more than that, Okay. Okay. You are, <laughs> see what I've written down here. You are more than just your job, your role, your food choice, your religious affiliation, etc. You are an all encompassing, spacious being. Now go reflect and start expressing more of you. Okay? That's your homework. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Like if you like this video. Subscribe for more. Check out the links in the description. I do have raw food books because that is one part of who I am and what I do and what I share. So check those out if you're interested. Much love to you. Until next time, take care.